after your six or seven years in medical school depending on wherever you study but i believe if you are watching this video you studied in russia or you are going to study in russia right after your six or seven years your journey is only just beginning like your or your journey just begun <laughs> my youtube channel my name is jess Priscilla. for those who are new here and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for you know coming back for staying tuned to my channel so guys i did upload a video last week on monday and that was because i wasn't feeling too well so i could not make it to upload a video i'm sorry about that but yes we are back and the show continues so guys i have been doing a living and um schooling in russia series over the last couple of months just addressing topics that would help people make informed decisions on you know choosing to come and school in russia or just to live in russia generally but today i decided to um answer a very important question actually it wasn't a question per se but i just feel like it's an important topic that i should address because I feel like one thing I think I should have considered um, when I was making the decision to come and study medicine in this country is definitely what life, you know, life offered me after medical school, right? So for many of you that are, you know, studying other courses, after you finish your basic um, program, right, I think, for example, if you are in Nigeria and you are going back to Nigeria, you probably have to go back home, serve, um, and then after that, maybe you get a job and start working immediately. But for medicine, it doesn't work that way. After your six or seven years in medical school, depending on wherever you study, but I believe if you are watching this video, you studied in Russia or you are going to study in Russia, right, after your six or seven years, your journey is only just beginning like your or your journey just begun i don't know how best to frame that sentence but yes you have to make really important decisions after medical school as to what path you want to take you know to get yourself licensed as a medical doctor so for those who are not medical students or you're just planning to go into medical school and you don't understand what it means, what like license is all about. So after medical school, yes, you are a doctor because you have finished medical school, but you are also not a doctor. Let me explain. <laughs> so after medical school, you have to be licensed in whatever country you would want to practice as a medical doctor before you can actually practice. So let me give you get, let me give you an example. If you are going to work as a doctor in Russia, you have to be a licensed doctor. So it's not enough for you to finish medical school. If you're going to work in UK, you have to be a licensed doctor in UK. If you are going to work in Nigeria, you have to be a licensed doctor in Nigeria before you can work, you know, as a doctor wherever you want to work. You have different options after medical school, right? So for someone that is schooling in Russia now, because that's the context of what I'm addressing, right? For someone that is completing medical school in Russia, after medical school, you actually have the option to stay back here and work as a doctor. However, it's not just straightforward. Like after medical school, you don't automatically become a doctor in Russia because you studied in Russia, no. You have to write an accreditation exam or like or a license exam as it is in many or as it's called in many other countries, right? But even before you think of writing, you know, accreditation exam or you think of working in this country, you have to have a legal work permit as someone that wants to work, not as a student this time around, for someone that wants to work, right? And for you to you know have a legal um, working permit it automatically just means you have to have a you know a residency permit as well right because that comes with a working permit so the only way for you to live legally when you're not a student and to work legally in russia when you're not a student is to have a resident permit right so if you're someone that you are schooling in russia right now or you plan to school in russia and you are planning to stay back in russia i would advise you to already start working your way on how to get a residency permit after like two three years of staying in this country because you can't get it immediately it's not like as you come into russia you're not saying oh i want to you know start applying for temporary residency permits it doesn't work that way you have you have to you know have lived here for a couple of years 
before you apply for that but it's actually optional it's not important if you're not going to be staying in this country or if you're not if you don't plan to work in this country right so yeah when you have your residency permits it means that you can legally work and you can legally live here then you can decide to you know write accreditation exam the exam is usually like immediately after medical school right after your um your state exams that you write in your final year of medical school so once you have your accreditation exam i think you get you then get to apply for a job right and then when you apply for a job you work and then you can, can decide to also specialize in something however if you don't want to work as a doctor you just want to go straight up into residency what would happen is you have to apply for a residency program again to apply for a residency program you have to write an exam right to the, to the school that you want to apply for residency in so the very weird thing about residency in russia is that unlike many other countries where as a resident doctor you are paid as a doctor in russia as a resident doctor you are seen as a student so you are actually applying to do residency like you are applying to study you know um the particular to study about the particular um field of medicine you want to specialize in so let me give you an example so you want to become a dermatologist right you would have to apply to a russian university for the um, for you to specialize as a dermatovenerologist that's how it works in russia because in russia you don't have just dermatology you have to be a dermatologist and a venerologist as well like it's, it's, it's just together right in for someone that wants, to, that wants to be a surgeon for example let's say you want to be a cardiac surgeon right so apply for that and you write an exam basically when you want to apply you put through the process of what the exam entails is usually mcq questions obj questions that's for residency um that's for um residency application exams but for the general accreditation exam which i mentioned earlier it's like it's a whole lot it's a whole lot and if i'm going to talk about that it's going to be another video entirely right but yeah that's that for the second option of what you can do you know after medical school here in russia the third thing that you can do is to do a master's program so it means that after medical school you would also apply again this is paid you would apply to do a master's program in the school that you studied or in another school usually many medical students decide to do masters in public health after medical school here um and that's because many people use the opportunity to process you know their um visa to some other country or to just spend some more time here trying to figure out wh what part they want to take after medical school and that's because in russia right your um student visa is only given for the duration of your um study period right so in my case my visa has only been extended for two months after graduation so if i want to stay here for that right like i mentioned earlier i would have to have um started working on my temporary residency or maybe i already have um or maybe i've applied for residency you know after school or maybe i applied for masters after school or something like that i i feel like i'm a bit over the place with this staying in with this after after medical school part in russia but i hope you can put it all together so in summary there are three different parts that you can take as a the graduate of medical school in russia so the first part right is for you to stay back in russia and be and work as a doctor but for you to be um, licensed you have to have your resident permit so that you can live and work here legally the second option is for you to do a master's program which you are going to be paying for and the third option is to um, specialize in a field of medicine it basically is residency here is also paid as well so yeah those are just the three um different um, pathways for after medical school in russia that you can choose there are other ways which is outside russia so i always wondered in my first year second year why many african students went back home after medical school home i i just felt like um life after medical school here was just easy like it was straightforward i mean i am studying in this country already so it means that i can continue but no so the option of going back home is another part that you can take so if you are going back home whichever country you are going to you're going to require to take a license examination and if you pass the examination 
then you can start applying for internship in your country right when you apply for internship usually it takes i don't know it depends if you're lucky you get it immediately if you're not lucky it can take you a while for you to get internship and basically internship just means you are working as a medical officer well in nigeria that's what it means i don't know about any other african country but i've listened to i've listened to some other african students and they've just said the same things as well so yes you are just going to do your internship and after your internship in nigeria you are going to do your national youth service and after doing your national youth service you are then going to become a junior officer that's how they call it in nigeria right so basically another option is for you to go back home to your country and work as a medical doctor after that you can now decide you want to specialize in something and you start all that process you know to wherever country or maybe to even you know specialize in your country now the third option is for you to go abroad immediately after medical school here so for you to go abroad i'm saying you want to go to uk or you want to go to us or canada or the island australia germany wherever you want to go to but um i would advise that for someone that wants to i'm um, going to a, go to a country like the us i'm going to write a couple of exams it's called us mle exam and they are in stages i would advise you to really start working towards it maybe in your third year or in your second year of medical school as early as you can because like the first stage of the exam i think has to do with your preclinical years so it just makes sense for you to already start doing that but those exams are expensive and you have to read a lot well with any exam that you're going to write in this life you have to read a lot or study hard for it but with usml it's really difficult for many people especially for people that are obviously not schooling in the us but if you want to go to us that's the process and yeah you can read more you can read up on it online i'm going to put some links i don't know anything about it i don't have any plans of going to the us as well so yeah that's that with that for uk you're also required to do some examinations as well in uk i think it's called plab not i think it's called plab one and plab two examination however in uk you are required to already um do internships somewhere before you can go to uk and work i would just advise you if you want to go back to uk you can just go back to your country do your internship there and from there you can then write the examinations and then move to uk to go and work or specialize or whatever you want to do so guys that's just basically what the path is like for after medical school in russia so those are the options that i know if you're a medical student or if you're a medical graduate of a school in russia please comment down below any other options that are available for students and if you have any more questions about this um, pathways i've spoken about today you can drop them for me in the comment section as for me i have not quite made like a a very firm decision just yet because i remember someone asking me oh are you staying back in russia after school uh, are you going where um, are you going abroad or whatever it's really difficult to make a decision because i feel like i make a decision today tomorrow i'm thinking oh my god like why are you putting yourself in this situation kind of ish but the truth is for me right now i'm very aware that i have a couple of exams to write first of all i have to write my second semester exams i also have to write um, a state exam as well just for me to just finish medical school like finish medical school in russia and those exams are a lot they are really difficult i i at some point last week i actually considered quitting content creation for a while but not quitting but i just feel like i need as much concentration as i can get right now right just to face what's in front of me and this can be quite distracting you guys i'll film videos i have to edit it and then i have to also promote them as well and it's a whole lot but i have decided that i am not going to stop you guys of you know great content that i'm already dishing out <laughs> i i think what i'm going to do is to batch create content now, that's what i've been using for a while now and it's working so today i am going to film a couple of more videos just so in april i have you know as much content as possible to you know upload every other monday like like that so yeah that's just that's just it guys with what's been going up going on with me and you know having to make a decision after medical school so yeah if you're a medical student as well and you're in your final year please let me know what options are you considering and why you're considering just options as well all right guys that brings us to the end of today's video i really hope this video helped you or helps you to make a more informed decision as to what you want to do after medical school if you're a final year medical student and if you are a if you're a medical student that's still in your preclinical years 
you guys is, you don't have time don't assume that you have time i i had an idea of what this was going to be like but i wasn't quite sure back then so and i really wish i actually did more research back then and i knew what was at, at stake i feel like if you can start preparing for it already even if you're in your second year your third year it's not too early it's not too early so you can start now just do your research i'm going to put important links in the description box so you can check them you can check them out and you guys google is your friend youtube is your friend just look for information you find almost any information that you need well i don't know about nigeria because honestly information is scarce okay <laughs> information is cast about like life back home but for uk for us canada and any of those places i believe that there are informations everywhere Hi guys i'll see you in my next video until then stay blessed stay safe bye everyone welcome back to my youtube why did i read oh <laughs> guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is why am i scratching me